need to cover, so if you guys can make sure you're paying attention, even if you're checking my work. In this case, um, I don't want to multiply by like sine to get r sine of theta to get rid of y, because then I'd have a sine squared. I don't really know what to do with the sine squared. I don't want to square both sides, because if I square both sides, then I'm going to have, again, another sine squared. Like, what do I do with sine squared there? So in this case, though, I can multiply by an r on both sides. By multiplying by an r on both sides, I get r squared equals 6 r sine of theta. Can I now eliminate my r's and thetas? Yes. This gives you x squared plus y squared. And this gives you 6, 6 y. Now, does anybody know what that is the equation of? Well, typically, if we want to look at this, we could get everything to the same side. And when we get everything to the same side, we recognize that I should have done it with the same one. Um, what we can do, guys, is we can actually complete the square. So if you guys thought completing the square was done, guess what? It's back. Negative 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So therefore, you have x squared plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 9. That gets, expo that gets um, condensed into y minus 3 squared plus or equals 9. So therefore, if you guys type r equals 6 sine of, sine of theta into your calculator, you should get a circle that has a radius of 3 and a center at um, 0, 3. So it should be 3 units off the x-axis. Now, to give you a little bit of closure, excuse me, listen, 